Hey everybody. So today we're gonna to talk about a kind of a very niche topic that is relevant only to printer farms. And it's the fact that there is not a printer made for 3D printer farms. Okay, so a lot of people are gonna argue with that statement. Um, the reason for that is, is because there's lots of printer farms around. Heck, the Prusa printer farm itself is made up of Prusa printers producing those parts. Um, but they're not made for that. There has not been a machine expressly and intentionally created and brought to market that was focused on the 3D printer farm industry. Uh, Creality made the belt machines, which are still very low scale, high maintenance machines. Prusa has their machines, which again are used in print farms because of their reliability, but they're not cor a correct type of machine for that. Um, and there's a number of different options that have been tried out by Stratasys and the like, but the print farm model has not been pursued and invested in or considered a market segment um, for many, many years and currently still isn't. Even though there's been a few products kind of announced that are focused on print farms, uh, they haven't come to market yet. Um, at Slant 3D, when we built our printer farm, we expressly had to design and manufacture printers for our facility because there was nothing out there optimized for print farms. There were no machines that had the automation capabilities, the ejection capabilities, or the reliability and ease of maintenance that was necessary to be used in a print farm. Everyone else who is building a print farm currently buys something off the shelf and puts up 100 of them or puts up 10 of them or whatever the number is. And that's fine, except for the fact that it doesn't work because the manufacturer is designing these machines for a consumer a consumer who might get bored in 24 months and needs a new machine, or a consumer who needs to come back and buy another machine in 24 months so it will just break down because it's low cost. But a print farm needs exceptionally easy maintenance of the machines. So you cannot have the user-friendly features that make a machine easy for a general consumer to use but impossible to maintain because a chip that you don't want somebody to touch or beat on is gonna be buried in the back, but then professional users can't get at it. Or it will have certain reliability issues where it just burns out after a while because it doesn't have a premium component in that area because it's just a low cost machine. There hasn't been a meshing of the needs of the printer farm industry segment uh, with the needs and the demands of the printer manufacturers. Printer manufacturers make a machine for a person. They don't make fleets of machines for a company. That's never been a market segment or a goal for them. Um, and it continues to be the case. It, there is still not a printer on the market to, that is reliably utilized for 3D printer farms. Again, you can say there's printers out there that are used that are best practices right now, but that doesn't mean they're good. They weren't designed for print farms. People are using them for print farms. They're duct taping it. And that is not a solution. It's certainly not a good solution. 3D printer manufacturers need to start to consider this because as printing scale grows, print farms will continue to expand and be a component of the industry for mass production of 3D printed parts. And the companies working on print farms cannot continue to jerry-rig machines into their systems or else many of them will go the same direction that we did, which is just to create a machine from scratch so that we had control of our product roadmap and were able to engineer it specifically for our needs as a mass producer of 3D printed parts. But that's the situation. We'll see how the industry goes. There's a huge amount of money to be made in selling individual 3D printers, but the industry will continue to mature and the need for 3D printer farm printers will continue to grow. So it's something to think about. Let me doubt, know down in the comments of printer farms that you know about or good machines that you found for print farms if, in case somebody's trying to build one. Uh, or just let us know what you think of the videos or other topics that you'd like to see. Have a great day, everybody.